I've had moments where like in the middle of a fight, I looked down and one of my fingers were sideways and I just like put it back without thinking about it. Did you ever have like a come down kind of feeling? Like you came down off of adrenaline or anything like that? Like after events or contests? Um, I don't know because it was it was almost similar to when you're like training hard at home for like that contest. Like, you know, because we would do runs at home of the tricks to a degree, but it wouldn't be at like 100%. And it wouldn't be the crowd and the cameras and like it worth something more than just yeah. practice. But back then there was a lot of drinking involved those nights after. So True. I can't like really, going out and I can't really put myself back in those shoes because I don't do that anymore. And that may have been a thing of what we were doing to relieve that that emotion. Oh yeah. But yeah, I don't I don't know. I think it was just it was just it was just a part of my life because it's so long and like this similar like adrenaline because like I don't, I don't i wouldn't know for like taekwondo but like when you're training bmx you're doing the same tricks on similar ramps at home like the yeah. same risk there the risk doesn't change the only difference that changes is the crowd the camera and it matters to points and money that's on the line and mm-hmm. things like that but like your health is at just as high risk when you're home yeah. And I, I would imagine with Taekwondo, it's a little less because you're practicing. Oh, yeah. Your training not, partner like, isn't trying to yeah, murder you. It's every not time like you a work fight out. where you, it's like, it's go time. Yeah. But BMX, the ramps still hurt the same at the contest as that's at home. That's very true. And you can still land on your head. So, yeah. Um, I think it's just, and that's what I'm really curious about now with all those years of the adrenaline rushes and, you know, the cortisol surges, like what that possibly does long term to brain health and overall health and yeah. why I feel so good being almost three months off my bike right now and still training and traveling but like like the adrenaline and cortisol surges like, I can't imagine would even be a tenth of what they normally are on a daily basis. Yeah. Because of even one hour sessions. You know, you're still right. even though you get used to it, you're still like you know your brain knows what's going on and Yeah. It knows that like some shit could happen at any minute. And now I think about that stuff more often when I ride now that I've gotten older and more aware of these things and more conscious of consciousness Yeah. and the ability to flip and spin with two, three seconds of time and then land. So I like, I think about these things more often when I'm on on the deck riding and visualizing my tricks and yeah, so yeah, it's interesting. I, I think it's, it's really interesting too, because like we would go out and party, especially if we were traveling internationally when drinking ages were lower and things like that. So we would always go out, but what I find really interesting about MMA athletes, about Taekwondo athletes, about BMX and extreme sports athletes is they all know how to play just as hard as they know how to work. Like they actually had a residency program for Taekwondo at the Olympic training center in Colorado Springs, but they got into so much trouble on a regular basis that they discontinued the program. So it was like, those guys were partying, like they were having a good time. And I think it's just those adrenaline seekers. It's those people that just like, like to feel like that. And I don't know about other people, but maybe it was the weight cuts I did maybe. And for those of you don't know, it's, you see MMA fights and UFC fights and stuff and people have one fight and it's crazy. And it's like 15 to 25 minutes of just like beating the piss out of each other and stuff. But Taekwondo, you're, you are in gear and it's full contact and knockouts are legal and stuff, but there's like only punches to the body, but there's kicks to the head and the face. And It's a little bit different in that sense, but you can have anywhere from, like, depending on how big your division is, you can have up to eight fights in a day, if not more, just depending on how big your division is. Or sometimes you can have four fights or three fights or whatever, like, however you're bracketed. So your body would be surprisingly sore the next day. Like, you wouldn't even (laughs) remember things and you would just be like, oh man, my knee hurts. Like, why does my knee hurt? You know, or like my shoulder feels super weird or like, God, I can't move my neck today. Like what happened? And then you watch the tapes and it's like, oh shit. Like she kicked me hard, like upside the head. Like I missed that. Like didn't even feel it in the moment. And I've had moments where like in the middle of a fight, 
I looked down and one of my fingers were sideways and I just like put it back without thinking about it. Like just a little thing. My arm. When I, yeah. when I had broken hyperextend in my elbow when I was 15, yeah. I was in shock though, so I pulled it right. back. Right, yeah. That's a little bit more <laughs> extreme like than the fingers, most I think. logical decision of the time. I think fingers are pretty simple to like just kind of like I feel like I'd rather not like... do that with a finger. Really? <laughs> I feel I've, like I'd rather I've, not do that with my I've arm. I jabbed my thumb trying to catch a bar spin on the bar, yeah. and that hurt so bad. I couldn't imagine like breaking a finger back in place. Yeah, I've had a couple of them like sideways and just not where they're supposed to be and I was just like, oh, look at that. And like, just like put it back where it was supposed to go, like in the middle of a fight. But it's like, what else are you going to do? Yeah. No, like you're going to sure. leave it sideways? But the adrenaline <laughs> kicks in at that point. Yeah. You're not really feeling it. I mean, so it's, yeah. It's but I would, well, I would for sure come down after an event though. Well, it's interesting because I think about speaking now. Yeah. And leading up to the event, the day of is when the nerves start kicking in. Right. I'm still excited, but then getting behind stage, waiting for them to call my name, yeah. introduce me, like the adrenaline starts kicking in. You're like getting a little shaky, well, a little nervous. Well, that's a whole different level. But because after, yeah, but then after that coming down feeling, I can relate in that aspect because it's like this build up, build up, build up. Yeah. And the same thing, they call your name, same thing with competition, it's just, <clears> it's just go time, you black out, you go yeah. in that flow state, you're doing your thing. And then after it's like this sense of relief and all this stress, I yeah. feel come down. Right. And I feel like, like just come off of me. Right. Right.